Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another market structure struggle. Today we are talking about duopoly. Specifically, we are talking about the Bertrand model. We're going to talk about the static Bertrand model, so that's just one period. For this example, I'm going to have Bill's Bakery and Dave's Delights. Those are going to be the two firms in this model. Timestamps are below if you would like to jump around, but let's go ahead and get right into it. When talking about the Bertrand model, we're talking about any model. I think it's important to go over some notation and the overview of the model. So let's just go through this kind of quickly. So in the Bertrand model, you have two firms I, so that's going to be Bill's Bakery or Dave's Delight, and they're simultaneously going to set a price P sub I. So again, Bill is gonna set a price and Bill's price is gonna be PB. Dave is gonna set a price at his bakery and that's gonna be P sub D. Now each of these firms are gonna sell a certain number of pastries and we'll call it the number of pastries they sell X sub I. So again, X sub B and X sub D. The number of sales that Bill and Dave make at their bakeries is going to be determined not only by their own price but also the price of their competitor, so both PB and PD. So then again, we're just going to have X sub I of PB and PD for both Bill and Dave. Just to make it easy, we'll say that Bill and Dave both face constant returns to scale production functions, and they each have a marginal cost equal to some value C, just to keep it a little easier and make the notation a little more general. So then both Bill and Dave are going to get some profit, so we'll call that profit sub I, and that's just going to be the price they set minus their marginal cost, so this is the money they make on each pastry they sell, times the number of pastries that they sell, so that's just gonna be X sub I of both their own price and their competitor's price. So if we're thinking about Bill, Bill's profit is just the price that Bill charges minus the cost to Bill or C times the quantity that Bill sells, X sub B, and then again, that's a function of both PB and PD. Let's talk a little more about this X sub I or the demand function or the number of pastries that Bill and Dave sell. So again, let's think about this from Bill's perspective just to make it easy, so we'll pick one. So what is X sub B of PB and PD? Well, it's going to be a piecewise function because again, it's gonna depend on both Bill and Dave's price. So first, this is X of PB. Why is PD not in here at all? Well, it's because that Bill is charging a lower price than Dave. They're both selling pastries, which means that if you are the consumer and you're between Bill's Bakery and Dave's Delights, and you see that Bill is charging a lower price for pastries, you are going to go into Bill's store, you're not gonna go into Dave's store at all, which means that Bill is going to take the market completely in this version. If the prices are the same, if Bill and Dave are charging the same price for pastries, then each of them is just gonna take half the market, so Bill takes half the market. If Bill is charging a higher price than Dave, well then, just like before, instead of everyone going to Bill, everyone's now going to go to Dave for their pastries, which means that no one is going into Bill's store, which means that Bill is going to have sales of a big fat donut or zero. So this is a strategic interaction. So we're going to talk about Nash Equilibrium. I talk about Nash Equilibrium more in depth in my game theory videos. But I think here, rather than trying to prove this Nash Equilibrium mathematically, I think the intuitive definition will help us a lot. So let's again think about this from Bill's perspective. So let's say that Dave is charging a price higher than his marginal cost. So Dave is making a profit on each pastry that he sells. Well then I, as Bill, can undercut Dave, right? I can charge a price that's between my cost and Dave's price. I will make a positive profit on each unit I sell. And I will be charging less than Dave, which means that everyone will leave Dave's store and come into my store. And then Dave is gonna say, well, I can also go lower. I can go between my cost and Bill's price because again, I'll still be making a positive profit on each unit and it's gonna keep going all the way down. It's gonna start a price war. When does the price war end? Well, neither Dave nor Bill want to charge a price that is lower than their marginal cost. Bill certainly doesn't wanna charge a price lower than his marginal cost, because if Bill charges a price lower than his marginal cost, Bill is going to be losing money on each unit, and it would be better if he just didn't sell any units at all. So Bill is willing to go all the way down to his marginal cost. Dave is also willing to go down to his marginal cost, and that's actually the same marginal cost which means that we are going to end up in a situation where Bill and Dave are both charging their marginal cost. And we said before that when the firms are charging their marginal cost, we get a Pareto optimal outcome. We get the same outcome as in a perfect competition market. The other way to see this is, well, maybe Bill just says, all right, well, I'm gonna set my price as low as possible to capture all of the market. The lowest price is going to be that marginal cost C. And then I'm just gonna capture the whole market. Dave is going to quickly realize that that is not optimal for him. He is going to set his price all the way down to his marginal cost, the same marginal cost, and again, we're gonna split the market. So the Nash equilibrium here is just that both Bill and Dave set their price equal to the marginal cost. 
and we get that Pareto optimal outcome. So hopefully this makes a little more sense in terms of the Bertrand model of duopoly in the static version. We'll talk about more firms, we'll talk about the infinite version in future videos. If you would like to see those videos or if this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.